Alright, welcome back to Resource Slimes Devlog number 9 and this one is a doozy. So let's begin. First of all, I want to extend a big thank you to everyone who helped, is helping and still will help in the crown project translating Resource Slimes. I think in the end we're gonna have the most translated mod ever, it is actually crazy, but thank you so much for that. Secondly, someone came to me with a mock-up of a new logo and I could not resist. Theos was so kind to agree to make more, and thus we now have a new logo that looks even better than the previous one. There we go. This is the 16x9 version, and we also have a 1x1 version, and I absolutely adore them. It's freaking awesome. So once again, thank you Theos for the incredible logo, link to their YouTube channel is in the description. And there's even more thanks to give, because Nexus Dino helped to an incredible degree with the development of resource slimes, both for the almost working 119 version as well as the update to using custom forge registers. And because some of you want more technical details, here we go. Beforehand, I had my slime resources created in this enum. Adding a slime resource would automatically register the extract items and this resource location would be the slime's inner cube texture. This was totally fine. However, if a mod comes along, let's say for example Tinker's Construct. Maybe I didn't add compatibility on my side and they wouldn't do it on their own. Sadly, with this enum, there is no way to add any resources for them. This is why making a forge register in this case would be absolutely amazing. So they would then be able to add their own resources as a sort of an API, just like I did adding my stuff to one probe, and that's awesome. So once this is completely done, after some refactoring, any mod pretty much can then use the not yet created resource slimes API and add new slime resources to the register as well as custom items and then custom slimes. I also backported this from 119 to 118, so that means it will be available in both versions. I also played around with the new fluid API in 119 and it is actually really awesome. Tutorial on that coming out very soon by the way. And the fluid's also working. Right, and now I'm handling two versions of resource slimes, a kind of functioning 118 and a rather alpha version of 119. But luckily Nexus Dino keeps assisting me in adding some more things and after another proper refactor and adding the item textures, I think it's gonna be time to plan some survival and progression steps. Once again, I'm really, really happy with the development of Resource Slime so far. I absolutely adore it and I'm telling you, once it's in a survival friendly state, it's gonna be absolutely awesome to play, I am sure of it. Regardless of that, catch me live on Twitch Mondays and Wednesdays 6pm CT. This is gonna be it for this devlog right here, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next video. So yeah.